automotive buy here, pay here dealerships. Hi, my name is Stan Share, and I have some interesting tips to share with you. We need to start to look at how we generate our leads. Are we generating inventory based opportunities or are we getting, uh, generating credit based opportunities? Think about that for a second. What are we trying to sell here? Buy here, pay here could be a nice profitable residual business if you build your book of business. The reality of it is we need to market to people with poor credit. We need to market credit applications more so than cars. In fact, I would even argue and say that you probably should not have your inventory on your website. Your conversation, when you have an inventory on your website, your conversation becomes about the car and not about getting somebody approved. Now, you could, like most dealers, you could have a buy here, pay here section and a subprime section where you do regular deals through banks, which I highly recommend if you can do both great because you can actually build a VIP upgrade program. You can sell somebody with really poor credit uh, on a buy here, pay here, and then maybe a year or two years down the road, you can upgrade them. Let's say their credit jumps 100%. Let's say you have a program to help coach your customer to improve their situation. You can get them out of that buy here, pay here and move them into an actual retail deal. It's amazing the possibilities that you can do if we just started to think about how we market, but it has to start with that credit app. And I'm not saying a drawn out credit app, I'm saying a credit app that could be a five liner that comes in as a lead and then you need to have a BDC or your sales professionals properly trained to actually call that customer and actually build rapport with them over a, a four or five minute conversation to be able to fill out that five liner and then come back with the ability to schedule the appointment. Once you get all the information you have, you are ready to send it to underwriting to get the deal approved. And from that point, you can ask for the appointment, you can tell them to bring their steps, but now you have a five minute conversation. It's not just, hi, this is so-and-so, give me your information. This is about building rapport. Again, I've been stressing a lot lately about communication. We have all these beautiful tools on the internet, all these different widgets. We have to keep it simple when it comes to buy here, pay here. Let's generate a basic credit app. Let's get in touch with our prospects. Let's finesse the situation. Let's build rapport, good old fashioned rapport building. Literally one of the first few steps to the road to the sale. And it's no different than anything else. Build that rapport, build the customer's confidence, trust, Make sure that your dealership has a good reputation. And I promise you, you'll bring in more people, you'll put more cars there, and you'll have more residual income for your buy here, pay here dealership. If you like these tips, please follow me. My name is Stan Share, and I'm with Pay Here Marketing, and I am more than happy to help you. Thanks so much.